in this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. You know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. What, do you want me to just die and just give up? <laughs> I mean, I think it makes sense why we want to... I mean, the outcome of this battle is it's not clear. I still have yet to see Kirito use dual wield. The moment that you counter Kirito dual wielding with golden eye, then I will concede. Hot take? I think that Quinella's arm being cut off and being a stump like this is not just a result of Yu-Gi-Oh cutting her arm off and being an injury, but the author is playing into the fantasies of many people who actually has degenerate fantasies regarding like honestly straight up that is its own tag there is content specific to stumps it, i'm not joking i'm not bro it exists and i could totally see the author pandering towards them oh yo he just has it unlocked now he can just come Einkrad mode anytime he wants, bro. Mm. I'm just saying, if we just pick up another sword, and I understand that object authority level might be too low, like, she only has one arm. Like, if we just have two swords, it'd be so easy. My hero, the finale. Combo attack! Again, it's just like, how do they do it? How are they getting away? Just, just not a single point being sensed. Like, like, look at this shit. The hair. The hair is just on point every time. Huh? Oh, she knows. Wait? She knows too much. Five hit combo. That's right. There was even like practicing against Volo. It was it was forced out of back then, right? There was like a five hit combo that we weren't able to do yet or something. Oh. Pull out Mother's Rosario. You have that shit? Probably not. Yo, isn't that just Asuna skills? It's just so weird. Evil Asuna. Asuna swordsmanship. It's just so bizarre right now. My girlfriend skills, man. I ain't gonna lie. Evil Asuna is the best thing that's ever happened. Like, she, she is number one girl in SAO of all, all time. It, it, it's just not even fucking close. Like, it's, it's crazy. Not just because of her looks either. Her lore is actually super interesting. I promise it's not the booba, okay? Light speed! Dude. How does it feel, Kirito? Actually, this might be the one of the first fairest fights ever. Right? Because... Kirito has so far knew every fucking move that encountered that shit. Finally, for the first time, he's fighting an opponent, you know, <laughs> that also fucking knows about his sword skills. <laughs> Was this actually Klein's? I'm not sure. The sword did transfer into Katana, which, you know, Klein is a huge weave. I'm not sure if this is a specific Klein move, but man, how does it feel when you're not the beater? <laughs> You're still alive. You're still alive. You're still alive. You're still I thought the hand was going for a save for a second. 
笑>えただ消すぞあたり僕が君の背中を押すよ今度こそ二人でアリスを助けよう Use the blue rose sword is it back? 君と君立ち上がれる One of the most generous things about Pontifex is how she allows everyone to have their important dialogues and monologues. She never interrupts. She's like, oh, all right. I'm, I'm, you, you do you. I'm, I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. I know it's a common fucking cliche and trope for, you know, fucking monologues and conversations that happen mid fight and nothing happening. I get it, but it's just funny to think about. The Blue Rose is back. Oh, it's a new brand new. It's a blood. The blue rose with Yujiro's blood. Sa, datte. Yo, duel time. My hero. My title drop. Did he just die there? I think that is him dying there, right? Not like this. Yuji was dead. There's no other way to bring him back. Is he just sleeping? I don't know. Oh shit! Dude, release recollection while Golden Eye dual wielding with Swordland playing. It should be 100% success rate. Cause he's the main character. God damn it. Ake ga, ore ga ima koko ni iru liyu da kara da. Koko wa watashi no sekai wa danjite yurusanu. Hiza o tsuke. Uh -uh. Nope. Different sword mode again. Let's go! It's back! That's right, and the ruler, bro. The word ruler is so interesting because in season one, one of the best soundtracks I've ever is the ruler of this world, and it's supposed to be. Kayaba's, you know, Akiko's theme as he, you know, talks to people saying like, you know, you can no longer log out. And like, the ruler theme comes back here and like his eyes turn gold as in he is the fucking ruler right now. Dual wielding, baby! <laughs> Yeah, it's Swordland. It's a remix of Swordland. Wait, the Golden Eye is gone. What the fuck? Wait, that shit went away real quick. Wait, it flashed for a second. And it's gone. <laughs> Shit's gone already. I don't know if this is important, but it, there's no more Gold Eye anymore. But hey, Swordland's playing. <laughs> Hair might get cut off at this rate. Ooh. It's fine, we got one more arm than her. It's fine, it's fine. The hair is working overtime right now to cover everything. That's an insane frame what I'm seeing. This is beyond crazy. The blood runs through. Jesus. Pontifex looking pretty rough. I don't think she's gonna survive this at this rate. Right, because obviously blood rose, ice sword, blood and ice. And Giga Cedar Tree, there's a little bit of tree tip and stuff like that, right? <laughs> and like, I guess the reasoning of why he could dual wield even though he couldn't before was simply the golden eye activating at that point, right? It's the golden eye to kind of denote that, yeah, he can overcome the dual wielding fucking limit and whatever. <laughs> Yeah, nobody bothering to call system call anymore.
straight up system call generate luminous element. We dropped that shit like five episodes ago. We don't got time for that shit. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. It's the thing to counter the full low test, maybe. Uh, what is it? It's just an empty slab to me. <laughs> okay, it's a laptop in her hands. Her hair is typing because she has no fingers or hey arms. <laughs> In season four? Are you actually getting away? Okay, that's fucking terrifying. That's actually fucking terrifying. In like, what if she takes over Asuna's body? Is that even possible? I don't know. It's just the crazy similarity with her and Asuna, but like she's determined to make it into our world. What was she saying there? I think she was saying system call something. She's probably call saying some kind of command line right now, right? Oh, I don't know how the fuck Chud is still there, though. Oh, <laughs> no, Chud! He's actually getting a chance with her! No way, Chud! <laughs> <laughs> now with the revolting clan like you what is happening are they fusing together what what's happening right now he's like turning into flames he's skeleton right now he wanted the last bit of coochie at the end but are they fusing what's going on <laughs> That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. That, 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 that is insane. What we're seeing right now, bro did it. He actually did it. It cost him his life, but he fucking did it. Isn't that insane? He smashed. He did it, bro. What's going on? Did they actually combine, bro? That's so weird. <laughs> what if she starts like, Whoa, this body's honking. That would be so fucking, that would be so fucking wrong. Her new form? I'm not sure, man. I guess the rest is in the season 4 content of what's gonna happen to this new Quinella, but like... Chud. Chud actually did it. That is... <laughs> well... <laughs> you gotta- there's some fat ugly bastard representation, huh? He got it. One for you guys. One for you guys, bro. The ugliest motherfucking thing got Quinella at the- how poetic, too. And he wanted her so bad, and he did it. You gotta actually respect the hustle at this point. <laughs> Generous luminous elements. Wait. No, the line! The line! Stay cool! <sighs> there is no competition. You and I would have had to fight on behalf of our own else. Is Alice fine? Alice should be fine, right? That is true. It's, it's like, what are we going to do with this Alice right now, too, man? He was way too damn bad. But you don't have to atone like this, though. 
お前がいなければもうお前が自分を責める必要はないんだユージはそうかなキリト僕はずっと君が羨ましかったんだ愛される君がもしかしたらアリスだって君を Maybe even Alice loves you, says the guy who loves Alice. Like, at this point, we have to say, No, I love you, or something, bro. This is fucked. And he's giving the love to us right now. When they were kids. Oh shit, this is the sandwich moment. When they were eating alone together, that Pontifex fucking gaslit, you know, Yu Gi Oh! の方はもうすぐできるわよ。そっちはどうなのよ。もうあとこんだけだ。じゃあ、あと少し頑張って仕上げちゃいましょう。うん、バレちゃうよ。まだ大丈夫よ。もう少し。もうちょっとだけ。
See, that's better. <laughs> a little bit better for you guys. See, they're like, wait, 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 wait. He's a bit too old. Oh, yeah, okay, fine. There we go. What do you think that is beyond the gate? Because these are data being deleted right now. It is literally the recycling being being fucking empty now. <laughs> Not really, but. Now what? What do we do now? Like, I don't know what to do now. What the f I mean, there's Alice, I guess. Oh, right. I remember this shit. Season one. Let me get Yui back. Hold the fuck up. Let me lock it for a second. Hacker mans. External observer call. Is that Kikoka? Yo, Kikoka calling? This is how they were talking to each other. External observer call. This is the Wrath employees communicating to the people in the game. Performing this operation will set the flux like acceleration rate to one times OX. Are you sure? I don't know. Maybe? Up to you. Basically, the only way to talk to somebody in real time, right? Because the flow of passage of time is different. You need to set it to one time OX acceleration speed so that, you know, exactly, right? Everything is like on time. You would think that the technology has surpassed to the point where they can overcome that, but that's pretty cool. Gunshots. Because we were, there's a warship, remember? There was a warship that was supposed to escort us, but it left early. That was the last time we saw shit outside the game. Oh, fuck. Who's attacking? She's popping off outside. This isn't the work of Pontifex, right? And how she's, she was so confident about seeing you on the other side. Is this her plans too? I don't know. <gasps> yeah. Remember? And like, it was also implied, heavily implied that he's an American military guy too, right? Yeah. No, not Zaza. Zaza specifically won that death gun. No, 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 no. Guys, guys, guys. Zaza is a specific guy. But there's multiple death guns and one of them is Zaza. Right? But like, this guy right here, bro. We saw them in the GGO. Yeah, this... <laughs> Kito, I'm sorry. Your problem right now. We can talk about your feelings about Yuji later. Like this is life for sit. Like you might die too if they take over. We're getting cooked. It's showtime. Specifically Alice, huh? Because Alice is obviously special, and Kikoku has already mentioned that. Son of a gun! World End Altar. That's a place where you can come outside into the real world? What is that? Eastern Gate South. I don't fucking know. Light cube <laughs> he just calls him bro. <laughs> but these two are the figures that we saw in the GGO episode and episode, uh, sorry, the GGO part in episode one. But interesting. They, so they were already aware the wrath. Who leaked this shit? I don't know. Like, I thought this is super highly confidential information, but interesting. Also, where's Asuna at? Bro. No way. But what does that mean? Basically, die. Yeah, Asuna's there. I'm trying to find you, dumbass. Oh. Are we getting fried? Oh! Link start! Is she entering? That's Aincrad 
the mode, bro. But we're getting fried right now. <laughs> That's it. What the? That's a fucked up cliff. That's a fucked up cliffhanger. That that is beyond fucked up because this is season three ending. When does season four air? Six months. They ended. This <laughs> That's fucking crazy six months away. <laughs> Good for us that we can just immediately start watching that tomorrow. But ladies and gentlemen, that is season three of SAO. And I can definitively say this is the best season of SAO I've seen. Absolutely. And the animation quality, the overall plot and how immersive it was. This is the culmination of, you know, the author understanding what he's going to do with SAO. Right, a lot of fumbling around with Aincrad and ALO and GGU and experimenting. And I think that Alicization, he hit off, he, he, this is like his magnum opus, bro. Like, and I bet season four is going to be even better. But like season three compared to season two and season one, it's not even close. Part one had some great moments, but overall 24, 24 episodes of season three, it just, it's just insane how good SAO is. And if people actually saw this and called SAO trash, I don't believe you. You're being like intellectually dishonest, man. This season, minimum eight out of 10. There are some stupid moments for sure. There's some stupid plot polls, right? For sure, for sure. But I don't think that's significant enough or I, I honestly, they're kind of trivial. It's still such a good experience. Like the way that SA was able to take this unique world of built up of sci-fi and you know, computers and fucking, you, you got like a simulation of AIs and talking about the philosophy of whether or not they're real or not. Even like the Pontifex lore that was rooted in the system calls and her brute force and that shit. It's just peak fucking SAO. I think the author is just on point with this and next season is probably gonna get even better. What's happened to Pontifex and Chud? I'm gonna assume they combined into one and did they escape? The world? I'm not sure. Uh, at the end, we have the infiltrators that's from the first episode and they showed up because I don't know how they got leaked. Maybe Pontifex was in contact with, with the fucking bro? I, I, I don't know, but they're coming into the game. I'm going to assume Asna's also hopefully coming in. We got our floodlight fried, but we'll figure out something next season. And that's it for me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care